there, philosophers, and welcome to Friday. Now, you know what? I think it's going to be a decent weekend, but I do have some concerns that the Sagittarians might feel a bit anxious or have some anxiety, maybe even vulnerability. It comes down really to the work you're doing for being more grounded. You're trying to get more grounded this month. That could be home issues, family issues, issues anywhere around your TP. You know, Sagittarians love to travel, and I always say, good, yay, Sagittarius, go travel the world. That's amazing. But you eventually got to come home, right? That's how you ground yourself, and that's how you bring all the cool information that you learn from the world back to your own culture. So you need a solid potting soil for your soul garden. You need to really be well-rooted into the earth. And this is kind of a struggle for Sagittarius is because they really kind of feel, I don't know, very transit in nature. And so building a home, not the best talent that comes out of the box with a Sagittarius. This month, the universe is saying, though, come on, Sagittarius, plant yourself in a good way. And over the weekend, I think, especially on Sunday, there's some key decision, which is the final decision in Chapter 3, for you to move forward in this kind of home groundedness. Now, adding some anxiety or for perhaps vulnerability to the equation, the moon is moving into Cancer, which means emotionally you're going to be pulled into intimacy issues, boundary issues, issues of where you draw your lines, who you trust, why you trust them. And in the next 24 hours, the moon will actually conjunct over Mars as it enters into the sector of consciousness. So as your heart gets becomes vulnerable and goes into that very private space, you're going to get a big booster shot of masculine energy, masculine, aggressive testosterone energy. So that can come out in many ways. The most obvious way, of course, is intimacy and randiness. That's a possibility. But also, if you've been betrayed or you feel betrayal, it could be a big shot of anger that happens in the next 24 hours. It really depends on your story and where you're going. All I can tell you is you're going to have a big shot of emotional ag aggression around boundaries and trust in the next 24 hours. All right, Sag, that's all I have for your weekend forecast. I'll see you back on Monday. Live, love, be.